All right, you guys, this is the second video, and if you're wondering why I have four swords, it's because if you saw my raid video, then yes, I did actually get the accessory on the first raid run. That's actually extremely lucky, in my opinion. Pretty good. So we have Tengen right here, and also a lot of characters got, like, you know, Awakenings like Levi, Rengoku, and Kirito. So we'll check them out right after I showcase Tengen. So first move for Tengen is the Sound Dash right here. A combo of 10, exactly like Jinwoo, if you guys see that, two weapons. So a combo of 10, and the critical is about, so 760, yeah, so basically 760k. If you hit really good criticals, then yes, but it's mostly 760k right there. We have the roar right here as well. Now, if you hit all criticals, that does at least 1.8 million damage. Oh, 1.08 million we have the resounding slashes as well. Alright, in total right there is 1.5 million. That is also really good because look at this AoE. Like that is like basically if you're going to play All-Star, this is full AoE right here. This is actually really good as well, like you guys. Now we have the string performance. I actually know that what this move is. Alrighty. So in total, it's actually a combo of 25 times 150. Actually, no, it's 100. Yeah, times 150k. Let's let me go ahead and use a calculator for that real quick, just to get you guys the real damage for me. So 25 times 150. So in total, that's over. If you guys actually get all good crickles, 4 million damage, an extremely big AOE, and you're allowed like look at that AOE, you guys. You guys, ten, look at that. Like that is like OP. In my opinion, I say he surpasses Eren, but does I don't think he surpasses Jinwoo. Only because Jinwoo has that third move and it gives him big benefits. But we'll compare them all in a little bit. Our man that got a buff was Kirito right here. Of course, we have the Constellation Slash as well. So let's go ahead and use that. So a giant galaxy comes up and then he just deals massive damage. Now, in total, you guys, this does unlimited amount of damage as well. So, you got two giant swords, and then you also have a big buff compared with all your moves as well if you just use the star. That would be, like, way too OP. Like, this makes him look planetary level on, like, straight away. So, this move is pretty good as well. Pretty crazy damage. That is, like, if you actually compare all the moves with the criticals, including this mode, over 10 million damage. Like, Kirito is godly. We got Ren Goku, of course. I don't know why it's named Purgatory. I don't see how he is similar to Zoro, but they gave him one anyways. So we have Purgatory right here as well. Now you're allowed... Oh, wow. Okay, so you're allowed to move. It's like basically the Flaming Tiger in his ninth form. That, And then you got like a mode. You run even faster now, including extra damage as well. Pretty OP, you guys. This is, like, even higher ranking than your Richie as well. Now, is he better than, like, all the other characters? I don't think so, and I don't believe so, but he's definitely in top 10 now. Again, with the Purgatory, the Flaming Tiger, this thing in total definitely does over... I would say it's equal to Kirito. It's a bit... Like, Kirito and Bay's, like, over twice the damage, but at the same time, he does even more damage and rapidly. But if you guys saw Levi Ackerman over here... He also got a buff as well called the Crimson Ripper. He got the Ackerman symbol aura right here. So Crimson Ripper. So that's what he does basically. It's crazy. Look at that AoE. And this is actually really laggy. So in total, a combo of 35. That would be like, yeah, I think. So I'm pretty sure Levi's Awakening is just a tad bit better than Red Goku and Kirito. Only because... His damage is a lot higher, including his AoE. You do also get a lot more damage as well. You also get a buff. Pretty OP. I also have to literally zoom out because this is like so laggy. This looks insane though. Basically, if you guys look close, he's making a star including a triangle. So this actually makes him pretty OP. And So this is actually not bad. And now let's do a little quick comparison with Aaron and uh, Tengen. Now, let's go ahead and go up to Tengen and Eren. Alright. First move for Tengen right here. And, alright. So, that did, like... Okay, so 850k. Alright, just got higher. Now, Eren's next move. 
Okay, Aaron is only a tiny bit higher because so he does in total is 1.15 million damage. So that's like an extra two or 500. No, yeah, an extra one to 200k right there. Destruction right here. I say it's the same damage in my opinion, you guys. That looks exactly the same. Tengen right here. I cannot turn around because, you know, I was just using the shift lock and it gets stuck. And now we have the roar right here. Okay, I would say that does more damage. So that in total... So Aaron's... Let's see. And now the AoE on that one. So Aaron has better AoE, but what about his cooldown? So the first move is his Heart and Piercer is a cooldown of 5 seconds. For Tengen, the first move, a cooldown of 6 seconds. So Aaron is just a tad bit better just on the first move. Now the second move, we have 8 seconds. And now for Aaron's second move, we have about 7 seconds. So Aaron is mostly better right now for at least 1 second. Now the Berserk mode is at least 24 seconds. But the good part about it, you are allowed to spam as well. Now, the reason why, if I didn't explain it enough for you guys, look at that AoE compared to that AoE right there. So, let me go ahead and use it real, real quick. So, one, two, three. Yeah, you guys can literally spam this at least up to 10 times, dealing over 10 million damage, you guys. And it takes, like, look. So, let me demonstrate. So, like, guys, look. You click Destruction, right? And it takes, like, a second to actually start activating. You click Hardening Piercer, you see spikes come out straight away. So, now, 23 seconds on the... Third move for Tengen, it would be about, and that was my bad. Let me go ahead and switch real quick. So right now, Luffy, wait, no, my bad, Aaron, all right. So Tengen, let me turn off no cooldowns. In total, so Tengen, so Tengen has a better cooldown, but he does not beat the damage if Aaron would spam everything. And now we have the string performance as well, like I did say earlier. Now, this thing in total, I did say it did over 4 million if everything hits, and it is actually true. So, now we have Aaron here. And now, actually, I have to go see something real quick. I need to get his Colossal Time pet, because that's mostly how much each one does in total. So, then we don't have to compare it like that. Alrighty. Let's just mostly get all that in. Let's try to get some damage real quick, you guys. Alright, let's see how much his Titan does. So with a critical, I did see it was 850. Now 850k times 4, so 850 times 4. So, yeah, I do say that Tengen could be a little bit better than Eren in damage. But in terms of cooldown, then Eren would possibly win for the 1 and 2 moves as well. Now that move takes 47 seconds. Now for Tengen, he takes up to about... He takes 43 seconds. So, like, even better, you guys. Not bad, in my opinion. This is actually not horrible of an update. So, this is not horrible. I don't even know why I'm all the way over here. But, yeah. And you are allowed to move around with this, including that, you know, like, your thing doesn't get caught up in all of it. So, I'll let you guys in the comments down below decide. I cannot decide over Tengen or Eren. If you guys want to see me compare Jinwoo, then alright, but I don't feel like that's necessary, because we I still say Jinwoo is better. From what I've seen, they're the same, but I just choose Jinwoo. This is also it. Uh, if, this could be a little bit of a long video, but I wanted to show you guys all of the details I've gotten and what I think on this update. But till next time, please make sure to like and subscribe. Peace out.